duplicate and offset your layers in a matter of seconds and go from this to this. Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Om and this week I'm letting you into a little cheat here. So if you've worked in the industry, this isn't like you're cheat cheating, but it's generally frowned upon. However, anything to save me time, I'm all for it. Just so I'm, just so you know, this is a sponsored video. Although I'm not making anything from this, they did give me free use of the plugin. So let's get started. Okay, like I mentioned, I'm going to change how you duplicate and offset layers. To start this, I'm going to create a new solid layer and change the background color. To, to start, create a new comp and a new solid layer. Change the background color to whatever you want and rename this to background. I'm going to lock my layer. Then go up to the toolbar and select the ellipse tool. Draw a perfect circle by holding shift down. But before that, I'm going to change the stroke to white and the fill to purplish and then center. I want this circle to, to grow and pop up and then disappear. So hit S on the layer on the keyboard to bring up scale. Then move in a, a few frames and hit the stopwatch button to add in a keyframe of 100%. Then go back to the first keyframe and scale it down to zero. Perfect. Hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and change it from 0 to 100 to match the scale keyframes. Finally, press U on the keyboard to bring up all the keyframes, highlight them and right click and click on Keyframe Assistant and then Easy Ease. This will make the circle smooth and pop. Perfect. I have the circle growing and then vanishing. Now, what some of you might have noticed is this duplicate window on the side. To use this, make sure you have the layer selected and type in by how many you want to duplicate the layer. I'm going to hit 10 and hit and click on duplicate. And automatically it's done without you even thinking about it. From there, I want these layers to have an offset. I'm going to start with 10. Mm, it's a bit too slow. Um, so I'm going to undo that and add five. It's a bit too fast. I'm going to undo it again and have eight. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Okay, from there underneath that, you can see it says randomization transform. This essentially means once you hit one of these buttons underneath, it'll randomize the layers. So not everything will be uniform and a bit boring. For this comp, I'm going to hit position and scale and hit play and you're done. So this is all well and good, but unless you don't have the plugin, you won't have it on After Effects. The link to this plugin is in the description below and it's from a company called Editbox. The plugin is quite reasonable. So have a look, it might be worth looking at. But once you download the plugin, it'll bring, for me anyway, it downloaded it as JSX bin. Now, what you first thing you need to do for it to work, you need to get rid of the bin. So rename it and get rid of BIN. Okay. Then go to the After Effects file, open up scripts and paste it into this area. You'll notice that the logo for the duplicate and offset plugin is the sim is the same as the ones in the script. Drag and drop this in. A Mac will ask you for authentication click on it which will ask you for your password and hit OK. Once you have this, go into After Effects, hit File, go down to Scripts and it should be there, Duplicate and Offset and click and click on it. It will bring up this pop-up window. You can put it into your toolbar but I'm leaving it on the side. Now you can have a bit of a play with this as I've done here and put this to Footage. For this one, I'm just going to speed through it, guys. I drew a line, opened up the layer, and hit Add, and added zigzag. From there, that allowed me by how many points I wanted. So change the 5 to 10, and then change the segments down to 8. As it's quite sharp, I changed the corner edges to smooth. But then I was getting this pink coming through. So to get rid of the pink, just delete the fill. 
pro tip here guys for it to move like a snake you can't really use a transformer this is a solid object so you'll just move it as one whole shape to change that go to add again and go down to trim paths open trim paths and you can animate the start and end points for it to move in and out and across the green to feel like a snake like i've done here to add a little bit more animation i brought in I typed it in letter X and animated it growing and rotation. Once I was happy with those, easy ease it all and then duplicated both of them by 10, offset them by 3 and this time randomized the position, rotation and scale. And to give it a bit of a pop, I thought about adding a solid orange layer on top and bringing down the opacity, but eventually multiply worked much better. Have a play guys and send me your example too on Instagram. And that's it guys. Smash the like button if there's something that you like so I know I'm on the right path. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next week. And as always, stay inspired.